Welcome to Sonic the Hegherth, San Francisco, Explosion, Sonic, Egbert, hi, I'm Blue, Dabu D Dabu Da. Hi, I'm Sonic, I bet you're wondering how I got here. Will Smith, he's not in this movie, but rewind time, let's go. Back to when Sonic was a kid on a video game island in another dimension or another world, he'd run around doing some shit, and then he goes back to his owl caretaker like, here's a flower, I got you woman, and she'd be like, you been running super fast again? I told you not to do that, people trying to kill us, you dipshit, we supposed to be laying low. Then bad people do come along, and owl protects Sonic, then flies away with him and gets shot, and she'd be like, god f***ing damn it, I should've just eaten you when I found you, stupid fucking rodent. Then she throws a ring and creates a portal to Earth where he'll be safe and gives him a big bag of magic mushrooms, I mean coins, mushrooms are involved, but not in the he's not magic mushrooms in the bag. No drugs are involved, and he's not not Mario. He's supposed to go through this portal to Earth and whenever he gets found again, make another portal to uh, this magic mushroom land where he'll be safe again, okay? But that's only if he gets in trouble on Earth. So she sends him through the portal and stays behind to protect him and die for no apparent reason at all because as we can see here, she had a lot of time to go through the portal before it closed and the bad guys wouldn't have not been able to go through with her, but dumb bird, I guess. Cut to a bored sheriff guy, Tom, in some lonely ass Hannah Montana town. And grown up Sonic keeps fucking with this peat trap, then Tom finds his hedgehog quill from Sonic, blue hedgehog quill, and leaves. Then a turtle gets the ride of its life from Sonic and he explains his fine way of living in this lonely fucking town and that if he ever gets caught he should escape to as i said the mushroom land nice safe little world filled only with mushrooms fucking idiot just wasted one of his precious one-time use portal coins the bag literally has emergency use only when on it fuck's sake then he tells us a little bit more about the town that no one knows he exists except for this one guy that thinks he exists and he keeps fucking with him and his favorite person is tom and he's super fucking lonely not tom sonic sonic's lonely we move on to tom showing raccoons and getting accepted to the sfpd which as we know stands for smelly farts are potent and deadly that abbreviation actually makes sense for once by the way so it was either between this or sad f it's pound dicks yeah anyway he finds out that his wife got him not one but two cakes my homie struck go with this one and they make some moving to San Fran biscuit plans big hugs Tom talks to a donut then we cut to Sonic watching some kids play baseball and at night a lot of movie convenience accumulates into him finding the whole pitch to himself and a bunch of baseball gear no one around and I don't know if it's normal to keep lights on at night for a baseball pitch but I'ma count that too and he proceeds to play an entire fucking baseball game all on his own cause he's super fast and then he gets super super duper sad like super depresso because he's lonely and he runs around the pitch extremely fast and through the power of depression he creates a Word white EMP or something like that. Yeah. And when the top no, 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 not when the Tom goes out. And when the light goes out, Tom sees the Sonic will glow in the dark. Then we get the classic Pentagon scene like, oh no, huge EMP happened. What are we gonna do? Hey, let's set that one crazy guy. Oh no, not that guy. Come on, it'll be fun. All right, I'm convinced. And we cut back to ground zero, the baseball pitch with a bunch of military there. And we find out who that one crazy guy is. It's Dr. Robot Dick, played by Jim Karai. He arrives and asserts his dominance on this guy and calls him basic and then takes over his troops and shit and then uh, releases a bunch of flying ovaries to go look for Sonic. Or not look for Sonic, because he doesn't know what Sonic exists yet. He looks, he's looking for clues or something, okay? And they start closing in on Sonic's cave, and Sonic starts to panic and waste a lot of time saying goodbye to all his prized bullshit possessions before he decides to go somewhere else to open the portal to Mushroom Land because the search party is too close to his cave and they might find him out when he goes through. Although, you know, the thing, I, I timed this, okay? The thing takes 20 seconds between opening and closing. He doesn't have 20 seconds to spare. Fair enough, whatever. So he goes to Donut Lord's, aka Tom's house shack, garden shack shed, garden shed, that, that's the one. To open a portal but Tom busts in there thinking that Sonic is a raccoon and he shoots him with a tranquilizer gun. But before Sonic completely passes out he sees Tom's shirt and that it has a San Fran Biscuit picture on it and a tower of San Fran Biscuit. I don't know where the tower is called but I'm sure he's gonna tell us. And he drops the coin opens a portal to that tower and drops a sack of coins onto the tower and then passes out. Tom's like what the f***? He takes him inside he wakes up and they have the standard uh, are you an alien? No I'm not. Fairly standard conversation everybody's been through it like 17,000 times. Then Dr. Egbert comes along without his bodyguards he's investigating because he saw his tracks and he came over here and Sonic's like you gotta help me out my legs are pisgetty and I'm not wearing any pants you don't need pants you don't have no penis but fine I'll help you so he hides Sonic in the attic and doesn't let Eggman inside so Eggman launches a tiny egg drones to go scan the attic which scares Sonic and he rolls down the stairs and makes noise so Jim bursts through the fucking door and he sees a raccoon and he's like oh well I guess nothing's here except there is yeah blue thing you know out with whatever the fuck you had a bitch and he threatens him with a flying weaponized ovary but then Sonic pops out and startles Dr. Robot Dick and Tom punches him in the face shots fired from the ovary but none of them connect and i don't understand why fucking ai robot machines always have terrible aim in movies they're basically fucking aim bot they're not supposed to be missing but whatever they fight it off and run away just as robotnik's bodyguards or whatever arrive tom and sonic drive off sonic explains the situation with the mushroom land and then that he needs the rings that he dropped off on that famous pointy landmark building in san francisco so tom goes nope big nope 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 i can't be doing this i'm gonna be a cop san francisco's west off you go buddy bye bye but sonic runs into his seat 
Keegan comes back and realizes that he has no fucking clue where he's going and guilt trips Tom into f***ing helping him out because he doesn't know where he's going and Tom shot him so you know he's a fall here so Tom reluctantly agrees but I have like this is amazing solution here this is incredible you hear me out how about you point it out on a map on your phone teach Sonic how to use Google Maps and then send them off with a fucking phone it's so easy what a fucking delinquent whatever road trip time they drive around and get to a rest stop where Tom leaves Sonic in the car to go call his old apartment and see what's up turns out Egbert's already there he tries to give him the Liam Neeson treatment but Tom ain't having any of that shit and he goes back to the car to not find Sonic because while he was on the phone Sonic saw a bunch of bikers and a biker bar and he was like oh my god that's the best shit ever heavy breathing happened so he disguised himself as a furry cowboy and went inside there and Tom finds him inside there he's like fine we're gonna stay here and have some fun for a bit because you know he's leaving earth and shit and he wants to have a good time so Tom swindles this waitress bitch into thinking that Sonic's a 40 old man with like skin aids or some shit and she fucking believes that because skin aids gives you huge anime eyes yes that's a symptom whatever Sonic gets the work writing down a bucket list and he's like oh my god there's so much I want to do but I'm leaving on earth and I can't do it she blue ways that's kind of sad let's do some of that shit in this bar man so we get a montage of bucket list stuff and funny but if this is real she'd be on the floor bleeding to death because he definitely hit her like 50 times more bucket list activities happen and a bald fat ass comes over like we don't like your kind around here what do you mean we're neither black nor gay worse you're hipsters i just realized that joke doesn't work because this guy's black but whatever it's not like it was a good joke anyway they start a bar fight and sonic goes super fast and does this whole quicksilver scene from x-men except they're not moving at all not even like in slow motion they're not moving at all they're frozen which i have a couple of comments on because some things do not seem to be frozen like this camera he uses to take a picture and these sparkling birthday candles because fuck physics and consistency and any common sense at all also if he's moving so fast he literally freezes fucking time then how fast was he moving when he created that amp doesn't matter bar gets quicksilver they run away in tom's truck and none of the big bad biker guys follow them because their brain is vacant of any brains and the two of them get to a motel sonic trashes the hotel and goes to bed while tom looks at his list and sees what he crossed off crossed everything off except for one thing which is make a real friend which is pretty sad shit but i don't give a fuck about that because i want to talk about the list itself right now see i compiled a bunch of snapshots of it and as you can see, the order is all f***ed up as he keeps rewriting the list. Also, Sonic doesn't know how to spell prank. He's a dipshit. Also, times two, how the fuck did Sonic cross off, dress up like Elvis and call a radio show in this hotel room? There is no Elvis costume here and I don't think I need to explain the radio show thing. Now, moving on from the list, Tom sees on the news that they're fugitives and next day, they get on the move and Sonic finds out that Tom is leaving to go to San Fran Bitcoin to be a police officer and he gets pretty sad by that too. But there's no time for that shit because Eggman has tracked them down and sent an attack after them that has the power of launching a harpoon and making all other cars on the road disappear between shots and Sonic is still sad but through the power of depression he turns into a sonic super sonic ball thing and he can crash into the tank destroying it and he's like fuck yeah and does the flossy fucking flosses god damn Roxanne never gonna love me but it's all right then the tank gives birth to another tank and the road is empty right here but because we need another funny moment Tom swerves out the way and reveals a mini event that takes the shot of this EMP disc thing and funny moment happens then Sonic goes over and fights off that one but wait it's not over yet it gives birth to another tiny tank this time it's a unicycle with an egg on it and for some reason Tom decides to fire it off I don't know why he does this he got an alien hedgehog that turns into an indestructible ball that deals with this type of stuff and shown that he's fairly competent at it so why don't you just let him do you fucking mere mortal you want to fucking die is that what you're doing here anyway tom destroys his good job dumbass it's over now no it isn't there's more the tank unicycle gives birth to a tiny chopper okay the laser chopper that cuts off the roof of their car so sonic plucks its wings and that's over now no it is not more russian nesting doll fucking bullshit it turns into a sticky bomb so they pull over to get off on sonic's hands and he fucking finally does it and puts it on a rock but he's an idiot and walks away slowly and fucking explodes dumbass sonic fucking moron so tom finally gets to san francisco over to his sister-in-law's house where his wife is and his sister-in-law hates him like nah hell nah okay hell nah you are a fugitive get out of here and yoga lady comes over like Shaniqua this my man we talking about let him in girl calm your titties then Shaniqua sees Sonic and passes out so they tie her up very badly I don't see why she can't just hop around and be annoying but whatever they give Sonic some crack okay and he wakes up and goes zoom then Jojo Shaniqua's daughter gives Sonic some new kicks while Tom explains the sitch to this bitch and she hella supportive once again Tom you married a gem and they decide to take Shaniqua's car to the Transamerica building. That's what it's called, finally. Meanwhile, though, Dr. Robot Dick has discovered that Sonic's quill has electrical powers, so he starts his process, if you will. He starts to research and study the quill and its energy and stuff, and through the power of dance and a buttload of Jim Carrey shenanigans, I love me some Jim Carrey shenanigans, he comes to the conclusion that he can power the spaceship prototype thing with the quill. Cool beans. Now cut back to Sonic driving a car because humans are stupid. They get to the building and... What happens now? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. 
No good. You need a special key to get to the roof. What? You can run up buildings. Where is the problem here? What the fu- This is so dumb. Oh, whatever. Through the power of movie bullshit and the fact that Tom is a sheriff in Montana, they get up there and Tom goes, All right, all right. What are we looking for? Oh, I don't know, Tom. It's just a sack of coins and the only other thing on this godforsaken roof. God damn it, Tom. Get your head in the game, you fucking retard. No, seriously. This line makes me super mad for some reason. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? What are we looking for? This, this roof is tiny. He specifically said a sack of coins and you've been traveling hundreds of miles to get... This is the objective here, fucking Tom, god damn it. So Sonic gets his fucking sack of shit. Tom and Sonic have a bromance moment. Then he throws the ring to get to Mushroom World, but the egg drones are there and so is Eggman in his new spaceship. They have a little witty back and forth and Sonic pushes these bitches off the roof and then rockets launch. Sonic goes Quicksilver again and this time it's really fucking confusing because get this, rockets are standing completely still, but Robot Dick sneering this button and these guys are still falling off the building in super slow motion. Are you meaning to tell me that actual legitimate rockets are moving slower than these guys? Ergo making the rockets look like as if they're standing still. Hell no. So which is it? Did he freeze time or not for fuck's sake? Doesn't matter. Let's move on. Eggboy presses the button and apparently that triggers the use of Sonic's squirrel and makes him super fast and Sonic be like, what the fuck? And he teleports Pretzel Lady and Donut Lord over to Green Hills to keep him safe and tries to run away from Eggman who keeps blowing up the city and people are definitely dying here, make no mistake. Then Sonic keeps opening up portals to different places to escape from him like France, China, Egypt and they f*** with the Sphinx. Don't fuck with the Sphinx, dude. Come on. And finally they portal back to Green Hills but Sonic has had the wind knocked out of him and Robotnik wants to kill him. But Tommy to the rescue, however, and not a successful rescue because he knocks him off. But then this bitch comes along, I don't know what he's called, I forgot his fucking name, but yeah, he comes along and then this guy comes along too with a chainsaw. And then Sonic suddenly goes Super Saiyan and gives Eggman's ship the big suck to take the power of his quill away. So Egg Dude takes aim and Sonic goes Monkey. <laughs> Monkey stance. Shots fired, Sonic goes Super Sonic Pinball Machine on Eggman and takes big fat shit on him. And Tom opens a portal to Shroom Land and Sonic boops Egbert into it. They saved. Big high fives. Tom decides to stay in Green Hills and they're cool with the government for some bullshit reason. And then they surprise Tannic with all his shit in their attic telling him that he's moving in with them. I don't know how they did all this under the nose of the fastest being on earth, but whatever they did that. We get a clip of Eggman being high on shrooms, looking a lot more like Eggman right now. All that's left to be is for him to be fat as fuck. Then we get a clip of Tails. Nice. This movie gets seven Ugandan knuckles out of eleven Sanic the Hagrids.